on the occasion of celebrating the World Day of Audiovisual Heritage established by UNESCO, members of the Department of Ethnomusicology of the Faculty of Music in Belgrade decided to make a short promotion of the Phono Archive, a special unit within this department, where valuable recordings of the music, folklore and dance heritage of Serbia are preserved. The year 2020 is at the same time the 30th anniversary since official foundation of the Fono Archive at the Faculty of Music back in 1990. In line with this year's slogan, Your Window to the World, we had the idea to introduce Fono Archive to the public and wider audience and to present the most important activities which are realized and the ones which are to be realized within this unit of the Faculty of Music. As one of the founders of Music Academy in 1937, Professor Kosta Manojlovic, already in 1938, founded a musical museum. The museum had four different departments. Gramophonic Phonographic Department was one of them. In the period of around 20 years, uh, from 1929 until 1948, Manojlovic is recording dominantly in the area of southern Serbia, Kosovo and Metohija and Macedonia with phonograph. After the introduction of the History Folklore Department in 1948, the successors and continuers of Manojlovic's work, Professors Nikola Hercegonja and Mio Dragvasiljevic, are making the efforts and since the middle 1950s, they are recording in the field in different republics of former Yugoslavia with magnetophone, a real tape recorder. The Music Folklore Department was introduced in 1961 and Mio Vasiljevic was its first head until which moment he already had a significant amount of field recordings. With the arrival of Dragoslav Devic in 1962 until 1990, the greatest part of the real tape recordings collection will be created. That is the reason for the official establishing of Phono Archive in 1990. Researchers in the field of ethnomusicology of the second half of 20th century already right after the end of the World War II, had a difficult assignment to investigate and record and notate the musical folklore practice, especially in the rural areas. Due to the um, expansive industrialization in Yugoslavia after the Second World War and the migrations directed towards the cities, there was a real threat that music in the villages will abandon its authentic performance context. Amongst the recorded content, there represented all elements of the intangible culture, cultural heritage from the national Serbian list, such as Oikacha, bagpipes playing, Vranje City song, and two out of three elements from Serbia, which found their place on the world list of the intangible cultural heritage of UNESCO, Kolo, traditional folk dance, and singing to the accompaniment of the gusle. Here it is only roughly listed which kind of that data are in the possession of Phono Archive of the Faculty of Music. Just since the October 2019, almost 30 years since its establishing, Phono Archive has officially delegated one member of the Ethnomusicology Department to be in charge for it. All members of the department cherish the Phono Archive and the unique and exclusive material of the Serbian traditional music and dance heritage preserved here. In spite of daily engagement as teachers, all colleagues who are working at the Ethnomusicology Department have high awareness of the importance of improving the working conditions, structure and connectedness of our with other similar institutions or departments. All results achieved in the Phone Archive so far are consequence of their professional and personal efforts. One of the first persons with the idea of importance of establishing some kind of archive for the traditional music material was one of the founders of Music Academy, composer, musical writer, conductor and folklorist Kosta Manojlovic. Collection of Manojlovic recordings made from 1939 until the beginning of the World War II in 1941 consists of 149 lacquer discs recorded with a newer type of phonograph of that time with 2-3 minutes of recording duration per page of the disc. Associate Professor Dr. Sanja Radinovic did digitalized the collection since 2012 with the assistance of the independent expert in digitalization of old audio formats, Milan Milovanovic. She is currently preparing a monograph on this material.
Special value of this collection lies also in the fact that it represents the only ethnomusicological sound documentation from the field in Serbia before World War II, together with the collection of Manojlovic's phonograph recordings he made from 1930 to 1933 as collaborator of the Ethnographic Museum preserved in the Institute of Musicology of the Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts. Nikola Hercegonja is Yugoslav composer, musical writer and musicologist. He was actively contributing to the Fono Archive Fundus of Real Tape with his extensive recording ventures in Montenegro between 1952 and 1960. Although he was not music folklorist or ethnomusicologist by vocation, he was primarily a composer. He left valuable data on musical folklore life in different areas of Montenegro, Kolashin and Pashtravici. Today, in Fono Archive of the Faculty of Music, there are only digitalized tracks of this material. Digitalization process was done by ethnomusicologist Dr. Zlata Marjanovic, to whom Hercegonja left his entire real tapes collection as well as his field work notes and other valuable manuscripts. <laughs> Broj 29. Tita, tita, loboda. Tita, tita, loboda, imaš koga od roda. Tita, tita, loboda, imaš koga od roda. Imam brata i boga, tita, tita, loboda. Imam brata i boga, tita, tita, loboda. A great name and the founder of the modern ethnomusicology in the middle of the 20th century was Miodrag Vasiljevic. Primarily active in the field of music pedagogy, solfeggio and theory, he is also known as a devoted folklorist and the first uh, lecturer of the music folklore department whose establisher he was in 1961. A scope of his fieldwork is truly impressive and as a result several capital publications such are Yugoslav folk, uh, Musical Folklore 1 and 2, Traditional Folk Melodies from Sanjak, from Montenegro, from Zaječar, from Leskovac area were published. Original sound carriers, real tapes he was recording, are in the possession of the family. Total of 35 digital audio tapes are available at the Fono Archive of the Faculty of Music and the digitalization was done by assistant professor at the Ethnomusicology Department, Dr. Mladen Marković. Što se izvodi na mladenci? Na mladenci. Kako se? Šta spremite tu tu luzinu, ja? Kad bude u oči mladenci, mi onda zberemo drva, tu luzinu što bude, i tu se dimo i pevamo. Sutra se dignemo, šta pevamo? Pevamo lever, po lever bice. Pevamo. Lever bo, lever bice, lever bo, lever bice. Ne raspuštaj granjice, ne raspuštaj granjice. Ajde, samo govori reči, nemoj da praviš. Granjice. Ne raspuštaj granice. Ne raspuštaj granice, sad onda granice do Morave. A lista do Dunava. Nemam kude da prođem. Da. Nemam kude da prođem, kolo da provedem. Kolo devojačko, kolo momčejačko. Da. Dobro. Dobro. Kad se to... Kad se to uzelo? U notu, 12 sata, u zoru, pred zoru, tako, 12. Profesor Dragoslav Dević is one of the founders of ethnomusicology as the independent scientific discipline during the second half of the 20th century. Although music theorist and ethnologist by his formal education, Dragoslav Dević is ethnomusicologist in its full sense of the word. For over 15 years, he was the only teacher on the newly formed Department of Musical Folklore. His dedication to the field work and the awareness of its importance was so strong that Professor Devich organized students of ethnomusicology and led them to the field in different areas. 
For a number of years it was an established practice at the music folklore department and even now at the ethnomusicology and ethnochoreology department. Professor Devic is definitely the most important person for the Fono archives as its founder and the most deserving contributor. His real tapes are the core and the greatest individual collection in the possession of the Fono archive. He also developed a detailed, precise way of systematizing the data accompanying every tape. Another important field of David's action is the publishing activity as the collaborator of the National Broadcasting Company of Serbia and Radio Belgrade. A number of the recorded examples from the field had as a result publishing on the LP records, over 20, within different series, for example music and tradition, folklore musical tradition, as well as the representative examples of some specific areas and or former Yugoslav republics, such are the series Istria, Macedonia, etc. Nastavljamo snimanje traka, mala traka, 704. Kažem ko, hoćete sad dalje da nam svirate, da smo rekli nešto čobanski drugčije, mi da čujemo ovu pesmu sa Markota. Ako se niste sjetili, možete prvo da nam svirate. Ne znam, ne možda mu se kojem tu pesmu. Dobro, šta ćete sada svirati? Ne znam ni šta sada svirati. Da čujemo to prvo ovo. Professor Dr. Dimitri Golemovich, ethnomusicologist and composer, started to work at the Department for Musical Folklore in 1978 as the assistant of Professor Devic. By building on the results of, he, of his professor and predecessor, Professor Golemovich continued to expand his field of research. Together with his students and later colleagues, he continued to devotedly visit different locations in Serbia and in the region and their common efforts enlarged the Fono Archive audio and audiovisual collection. Professor Golemovic is the author of numerous publications, books, monographs, individual scientific studies, discographic publications dealing with the different topics, covering the most different ethnomusicological themes and focusing his attention to the social conditionality of music and the man as a musical being. Oh, my God. 
Digitalization process in the Fono Archive of the Faculty of Music starts in 2004 with a project funded by the Ministry of Culture of the Republic of Serbia. As teaching assistants back at 2008, 9 and 10, Dr. Ivan Enic and M.A. Zdravko Ranisavljevic digitalized a number of Professor Devic's real tapes in line with the plan to systematize the process of digitalization in the way that several geographical areas of Serbia are covered, like Dragačevo and Crnoreče, for example, out of which selective uh, representative material from Svrljik, digitalization by Zdravko Ranisavljevic, has been published. Altogether, it was around 100 real tapes from these areas. In 2012, students of the Master's Studies at the Ethnomusicology Department back at the time, on their own initiative, are digitalizing significant number of real tapes, around 300, from Professor David's collection. All members of the Ethnomusicology Department, with full awareness of the quantity and the significance of the collected music folklore material, have made constant efforts in its digitalization and publishing. There is still some non-digitalized material, primarily due to the fact that until October 2019 there was no single person engaged only with the Fono Archive work. All colleagues from the Ethnomusicology Department have full workload in teaching. And secondly, due to the fact that the room, number 8, at the Faculty of Music is not only used as a Fono Archive, but as the classroom as well because of the persistent problem with the lack of space at the faculty. In spite of these difficulties, Ethnomusicology Department realized two audio publications, one with the traditional music of Svrljik 2013, Professor Dr. Dmitrija Golemovic was the editor, with the excellent equipped CD, mastering done by the assistant professor Mladen Markovic, an informative and extensive two-language study and accompanying notes for each out of 40 tracks done by the associate professors Dr. Mirja Nazakic and Dr. Sanja Radinovic. Second audio publication, with traditional instrumental music from the niche area, was published in 2016 as a result of the joint work of students and professors who attended the Summer School of the University of Arts in Belgrade in July 2013. Ethnomusicological workshop within the Summer School was led by Dr. Mirja Nazakic and Dr. Ivan Enic who are the authors of four words and notes on the CD, and it was titled Nishnu se zvezda, traditional music of Sicevo and surroundings. CD has 47 selected tracks with different pieces of instrumental music from this area and has four words and notes in English and Serbian language. In addition, it is equipped with selection of photographs from the field. With everything said above, it is clear that the Ethnomusicology Department of the Faculty of Music there are plans for the improvement and sustainability of the different modalities of the work of this unit, which aims to become a contemporary audiovisual archive. Professor Dr. Olivera Vasic was full-time professor of ethnology and ethnochoreology at the ethnomusicology department of the Faculty of Music. This year, we are mentioning her because it is five years since she passed away, 28th of October 2015. As she often said, she had almost 2,000 villages in her legs, which tells us enough of her engagement in the field. One of the founders of the Ethnochoreology as the Independent Scientific Discipline, Professor Vasic, gave huge contribution to the dance research in Serbia. Field work was the starting and ending point of her work, and it reflected all other aspects of her, her engagement, pedagogical, scientific and activist sparkle in her actions with the aim to preserve traditional dances in the much broader context to actualize them in the present moment. 
the director, uh, uh, direct outcome of her work is the collection of videotapes, audio tapes, real tapes and the CDs preserved in the Fono archive. It is currently systematized by Associate Professor Dr. Selena Rakočević, ethnomusicologist and ethnochoreologist. After this brief introduction and getting to know with the Fono Archive of the Faculty of Music in Belgrade, it is important to emphasize that in spite of the actual difficulties caused nowadays with the COVID-19 pandemic, we do want to open our window to the world to be seen and heard for, because what we have possesses immeasurable value on the national, but on the regional and international level as well. Through that window, it is possible to reconnect past and future, to cherish and appreciate what our predecessors left us and to work on establishing Fono Archive as the multimedia center for the traditional but also multi-genre music and dance research. Some of the next steps will certainly be providing more suitable place, space, for the functioning of the Fono Archive and the creation of the digital metadata base. Thank you for watching this video.